SRE Live here back with another video and today we're looking at one of the most color accurate made in Japan 4K 27 inch monitors ISO CS2740 and in today's video I'm going to review it. <laughs> Now, the reason you might have not heard about ISO is because it's a niche brand in Japan that were making products for pros, specifically monitors, for decades. Their average prices are starting at $3,000, $5,000, all the way to $10,000, and customers are Hollywood studios, expensive design studios, hospitals, so there's really nothing consumer grade about um, ISO and even the, their consumer models or lineup they wasn't very popular in the United States or North America at all or even in Europe it wasn't like it just doesn't sell as much as Dell or HP or BenQ most of those brands that people buy for day to day and that brings us to the CS2740 now if you're looking for a high quality screen that is a little bit better than 350 to 600 dollar IPS panel, typical one from LG, there really isn't that much choice, especially if you want a hardware calibrated screen. Most of the monitors right now on the market are very poorly made. I'm talking about LG, BenQ, even NEC. They're cutting corners and uh, there are tons of defects and then you'll probably have to be returning the monitor and going through a few samples to get a one that actually really works. And then that's not talking about the calibration software. Well, not the case here. So what is the big deal with ISO? Besides the fact that you're getting one of the most color accurate, wide gamut, hardware calibrated screens in the market, it is also built like a tank and assembled in Japan. It also has five years of warranty with real customer support. Okay, so first I'm gonna tell you more about the CS2740 and then I'll speak about the market alternatives so you get the idea, well, what choice you have. Okay, starting from the front, what's really cool about ISO and the first thing that I've noticed is that the logo right at the top of the screen is completely faded out and you could barely see of course for professionals to focus on the image that's a really nice little detail from ISO and bezels are extremely thin for ISO previously all their screens look like CRTs from the front and now you only need to look at the back to see what's really going on looking at it from a side it's a pro screen that becomes very obvious it's thicker than anything else on the market it almost looks like a good old CRT it's also very heavy compare that to LG I was just talking about in you before with a similar IPS panel and it almost looked like a giant iPad in comparison it's that thing ISO has huge cooling radiators and a lot of empty space inside for a good reason to ensure years even decades of reliable operation consumer brands like LG don't care about that sort of thing CS2740 uses IPS panel without polarizing film so you will see some glow in the dark I'm going to illustrate that in a moment but it's very subtle it doesn't distract you from the work at all this is also characteristic of ISO CS series the CG series does use the polarizer glow is very subtle and not an issue to be honest I'd say when I'm working with minimal light at 50 candel brightness glow is not visible even on black background so in practical terms not a big deal the anti-reflective coating of this monitor is the best i've ever seen it makes images look like fine print it is very smooth and it reduces glare dramatically it's probably the most anti-glare screen that i've seen and it's the easiest on my eyes at least and my eyes are pretty sensitive i've been using lg the one i've shown you before with an ips panel i couldn't use it for more than an hour it was real torture with this one i've got no problem at all going all the way to 30 candel uh, really in pitch black room so it's much much better what's also cool is isa uses a process they call optical bonding there's a small gap of air between the lcd module and the cover glass of a monitor optical bonding fills that gap with a layer of resin and here in the two together this benefits the eyes and it reduces the glare it also reduces any condensation that potentially could build up over time it will also remove all the dust yes apple cinema display i'm looking at you because i own that screen there was a ton of dust between the protective layer and the actual lcd module never going to happen on this thing okay one of the really big deals and i think it's a really big deal iso is still made in japan that's pretty insane. It's the only remaining Japanese brand of desktop LCD monitors that still manufactures its products in Japan. And 
I know, for example, one of the biggest competitors for the screen is BenQ SW270 and then 271C that they just introduced, which basically makes this BenQ pretty much the same price. That one is made in Taiwan and most of other BenQ are made in China. And there's a ton of sample variation and a lot of defects. So totally up to you which one you're gonna go for, but made in Japan, I'm in. Also quite important, uh, it does come with five year warranty, which is the industry standard. Nobody's doing anything like that. NEC has four years. I don't know about BenQ, but this is real five years and their technical support is excellent. I had a question about upgrading CS2740 to HDR. They have uh, HDL and PQL modules that you could actually install. It does not void the warranty, by the way, if you are asking. And I've been connected with specialists right away, literally on the phone, and that lady was super knowledgeable. It happened in like two minutes. And she was a native English speaker and she knew what she was talking about, like real deep technical knowledge. Almost every single time I was talking to somebody else on the phone for the support for other screens, total waste of time. They're like, it doesn't exist, so forget about it. So this is pretty important. I'm sure ISO puts in the money to have these people um, and um, that's what you're paying for. When you're paying that sort of money, you want the highest uniformity across the screen, corner to corner, and this one delivers totally. Like, it's excellent overall. There, if you look at the black background in a completely dark room, the right side on, to the bottom of the right corner is subtly a little bit more brighter, but it's very subtle. It's not a big deal at all. Color is incredibly homogeneous as well. You can see how the white looks. It's pure corner to corner. I'm sure ISO built-in digital uniformity equalizer is doing its job too. And um, we are now at 160 Candel. If we look at color accuracy, this is the kind of results you can get from Delta E perspective. And um, I don't think you can expect anything more. This is, this is reference grade stuff. I've also measured screen uniformity using x uh eye display, and uh, it was very good. It was between two to 4% variation corner to corner and that's really what you pay for that's where the money go it's uh, that kind of uniformity is very difficult to achieve with an lcd panel across the 27 and 27 inch uh, and iso just able to do that the build quality of the monitor is very very good the stand as you can see i'm using the amazon arm but the stand itself it's all in original factory packaging it's very heavy i would say it's probably five pounds, maybe four pounds. Uh, it's very robust. Spring is very nicely done as well. So um, it's good stuff. Plastic itself is standard, nothing special at all. Finally, it reminds me of the plastic of the CRT monitors. It just sounds the same way when you tap on it, but whatever, it can be all perfect. Huge advantage of ISO in my opinion is their color navigator software, extremely easy to use, very, very simple interface. It just gets out of the way, allows you to create any kinds of profile that you need. Uh, and it's super easy to switch, obviously all hardware calibrated and it just works. One thing to note is do not buy the CS2740 with the calibrator from ISO EX4. Um, it's, that's what I did. It's a rebranded model of Spider X. It's generally very good and much better than older spiders, but I display here you can see it is much better. Specifically, it calibrates ISO at a higher contrast, at least 80 to 100 to one higher, and an average delta in color deviation is lower. If you calibrate ISO to 50 candel, so like super low brightness, you will get half of the contrast with uh, the rebranded spider versus eye display. You would get about 700 to one on eye display uh, at 50 candel, and you would get about 380, 350, on spider so the lower the brightness the harder for the spider to really calibrate the the darker colors specifically black dark gray and dark blue um, and so don't buy it this is this is much better more expensive but way better i display plus is the most color accurate thing on the market right now it was developed purely for oled panels so just get that. If you're looking at a 4K hardware calibrated screen, there are only three main players. There's ISO, NEC, and BenQ. BenQ just recently showed up. There were not there were not players before. Now, with regards to NEC, they don't have 27-inch panel. They only have 32-inch, and their 27-inch panel is uh, just standard, standard resolution. I've heard some people saying that the um, scaling on the 27-inch uh, 4K is terrible. I, if you're using a Mac, there's zero problems with that. If you're using a PC, I would imagine that it could be a problem, but that really leaves us with BenQ because BenQ have a direct model, direct com competitor, 
price difference, 500 to $600. There's a massive variation on the quality and defects and uh, uh, with BenQ. I personally wouldn't do it because BenQ is made in Taiwan. It is uh, their software specifically for hardware calibration is nowhere near as good and they're just not reliable. So from to me, it just doesn't make any sense. I'm happy to pay extra $600, but that would be up to you. I owned 2490WXI back in the day with uh, ATW Polarizer, polarizing film that reduces the glow of the IPS panel in the dark off axis. ISO calls that true black panel. They only use it on the CG line, which is a little bit more expensive than, or quite a bit more expensive than the CS line. NAC had quite a lot of issues too. There were power supply issues. I had a backlight bleed on my panel, uh, on my model, I actually returned it. Um, so, the only neck I would consider right now is the 32 inch model that they have of PD, I think 311. That one is just, if you're on the market for 32 inch, it's substantially cheaper than ISO CG319, but that's that. And so this is ISO CS2740. It is one of the best color accurate 4K monitors you can buy on the market right now, made in Japan. And to my eyes, it has the image consistency and color uniformity one of the best that I've ever seen, and I've owned NAC 2490WXI back in the day with polarizing film, so I do have a pretty good reference. And now it's time for the scores. Image quality, easy 10 out of 10. It's a reference grade monitor where you could be doing the most critical color work that you're working on. Panel uniformity, nine out of 10 is almost perfect. Very, very good. Build is nine out of 10. It's built like a tank, will last for a long time as you guys have seen. Comfort is 10 out of 10, very easy on your eyes with one of the best anti-glare coatings that I have seen in any other screen. Practicality, seven out of 10. It's a super heavy monitor a very heavy stand. Reliability is 10 out of 10. It's probably will last for a very long time. It has five years of warranty and very strong reputation from ISO. And overall value comes down to nine out of 10. Even though it's priced higher than competitors, it does have the image quality. It's made in Japan. It has the uniformity that just is not matched by any other screen on the market today. Highly recommend it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Leave a comment what you thought about one of the last made in Japan brands and specifically ISO CS2740. Consider subscribing to the channel for more reviews like that. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I found a